my last attempt at pawn five. Three years later, guys, this is it. I'm not gonna do this anymore if this does not work. If you wanna find out what I'm doing, keep watching. So, as you know, I started back in 2020 when Corona happened. I had some success selling some editorial clips. Kind of took off in 21, made some money. And now three years later, my account has made over $13,000, which seems nice. So what's that divided? It's like four and a half thousand dollars a year, I guess. And it's a nice little side income that pays my bills. The reason I stopped doing it, which I mentioned in my two year video, was it's just such a tedious, time consuming process to not even shoot, it's just to, to edit. And then the worst part is to have to do all this metadata to all the titles, the descriptions. Even if you're doing the bulk editing, which I was doing to save time, where I was editing like 100 clips in 10 minutes versus 10 minutes per clip, even that became tedious because you still have all these clips that you would like to have specific titles, but they don't have titles, so you can't find them. And I don't know, it, just, it was just such a tedious process to make this money. And ultimately, I, what really stopped me from doing it was just focusing on stuff that was more income generating. So I realized like if I spend 10 hours doing Pond 5, I'll only make X amount versus spending 10 hours to find new clients for new productions, you make 10 times, 100 times more money. So it's like, how do you want to spend your time? And that's kind of what really hit with me. That's why I kind of stopped doing Pond 5. Now the reason, right now I'm giving one last attempt. What changed was, I'll tell you, chat GPT artificial intelligence, AI, where you can just put in a title and it plops out a whole whole story of keywords and SEO and all this stuff. I thought, what if I can just use that for all my footage, all my clips, all my reels? And that's what I did. So last year in 2000, well, almost two years ago, in December 2021, I went and edited stock reels for all my projects where I basically just took all the clips, I stuck them in one big video, I put a watermark over it, and I stuck it up on YouTube so I could try to search, get ranked in the SEO for people looking for those clips. That was not a success. I got maybe a few, like, like four or five shoots where people on the internet hired me to shoot some video in Florida for like some drone videos, but only that was, not, it wasn't that much money. And I, I don't know if that really made a difference in sales. I, I did see my Pond5 view count went up, but I still made the same amount of sales as the, as the year before. So I do not think my YouTube reels made an impact. The one mistake I made with the reels was, okay, even though I uploaded all these reels, like 150 reels, I only did the title. And I put a generic copy pasted description with contact info. And the reason I didn't fill out those descriptions is because it is so much work to write and type each thing. So that's why I just put a generic contact description on my reels. So the titles were specific to whatever the footage was, but the description wasn't. And I also did not link a URL to buy the footage. It was just email me to buy this footage. And that's who wants to send an email and negotiate a price. That's, I think that's why my reels did not get much of a response regarding stock footage sales by having it on YouTube. In the past, when my reels did generate sales was when I provided a specific reel of, of footage for like a news segment looking for that type of clips. But I have not really been in that world. I haven't, ever since Corona, I kind of stopped, you know, it's been like three years. I haven't really been involved with news people at all. So that's why no one really bought that footage. So just having these reels on YouTube didn't make me money. But the difference now with ChatGPT is I had all these stock reels optimized for their title. I had all the descriptions fully written out by the computer. It took me like two seconds and it puts the SEO, the keywords. I even included the search phrases for this type of footage, who uses this type of footage, put in the hashtags, the key tags, all that stuff. And I would say it took me a weekend and I went and used ChatGPT for every reel. I then linked the YouTube stock reel to my Pond5 collection. So I went and created a unique separate collection where you can click it and buy it and see the clips. And I just put it all out there. So right now I got like over, I don't know, 150 reels. They're all connected to a stock Pond5 collection page. And one more thing that I did just to test it, 
I went and lowered all my pricing to the minimum. So I put $25 for 1080 and I put $50 for 4K. I did leave a few clips that I just know are my top sellers, so I left them the regular price. But for like 99% of my clips, I put them at 25 and 50. I wanna just test it because I noticed on my Pond5 page, I get a lot of views, but not as many sales as I would like to have. Definitely not as many sales. So if I'm getting like 5,000 views, I'm only getting like, like 10 sales. So it's not a good ratio. So maybe it was the pricing. So I'm testing it, see how it looks, and if it makes any difference. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna just put my pricing back the way it was. But this is ultimately my last attempt at Pond5 because it's just too time consuming. And I know people mentioned to me, oh, you gotta go use Blackbox. And I did go look at it. But here is the next problem that I had was, okay, even if you could find people that will do the curating for you, I still gotta go and find these people. I gotta negotiate with them. I gotta go back and forth. And I gotta go view their work to see if it's like what I'm looking for. And I just, I don't, I don't have time to go back and forth. I don't wanna deal with that. So what, I, what would have been nice is if I could just upload my footage to Blackbox, I just click a box right here saying, boom, I'll share 20% revenue with whoever does the, the keywords and, all, and black box just automatically optimizes it with the keywords or whatever and is done without me having to negotiate or deal with anybody. But the biggest reason I have not been going with black box is because I found out that they have like a hundred video upload limit per week. I think it was per week. And it's like, I got thousands of clips. So it's gonna take me like years to upload all this footage. And I just, I don't wanna deal with it. So. It's just such a difficult process. So I already have all my footage on Pond5. I'm an exclusive. It's already making me a little bit of money every month to pay my bills. And the reason I'm doing this last attempt at Pond5 is just to try to optimize what I currently have and see if I can improve it and see if I can have it make me a little bit more money because it would be nice to double it. That would be really nice. That would cover like all my basic bills. Yeah, for now, just stock footage in Pond5 has not really been the best use of my time. I'm not gonna say that stock footage in Pond5 have been a waste because it has really helped me optimize and improve my editing workflows. I've created super streamlined editing systems that I use to this day for all my projects and teach all my editors to do. It's allowed me to not get overwhelmed when I edit projects. And also just with basic keywording, SEO, project file management, Pond5 has really just helped me streamline a lot of these processes that I use today in my production business. So Pond5 is an incredible thing if you are in the production industry yourself. But for me as a passive income stream, eh, Pond5 is not really, not really cutting it. Stock footage is not really cutting it. And this is just my last attempt at seeing if it works. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, that like button, and just drop in the comments, like how much have you guys made with Pond5? Like, have, have, has anybody been able to basically achieve financial independence by selling stock footage or like have your rent covered? And I, when I say rent, I don't mean rent like in Bali for $300. I mean like here in the United States, like $2,000 a month rent. Have you been able to cover it with stock footage? Because that was kind of my, my goal. And I've had months where I did make like $1,000 most parts, it's like three, $400 a month. So it's like my phone bill and my electric bill. And it's nice, but it's not the dream of, you know, having your stock footage cover everything. So let me know, let me know what you guys think. Otherwise, that was my two cents on my last attempt on Pond5 and that was it. So thank you. Once again, thumbs up. See you in the next episode.